How many of you love watching the Oscars? I know many of you are going to be quick to say, no, no, not me. Mm -mm, no, not even close. Did you, did you just say the Oscars? <laughs> Who watches those? Ah, <laughs> I never watched that in a long, long time. <laughs> and, then, and then secretly, secretly you're like, you click on the TV and you start tuning in and you're like, wow. Who watches the Oscars? Yeah, yeah. You secretly bust yourself, yeah. Anyways, let's see what's here. I got ahead of myself, so I, I, I got carried away there. I, 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 I lost my words. I don't write my words, just letting you guys know. In case some of you are asking, I don't write anything. Anyways, let's talk about the Oscars. Every year, they come to celebrate your programming. They come to celebrate how successful they are in programming people with the new age philosophies of Luciferian doctrines. Every single year. And they come and they brag and here they are, they walk on, on red carpet and many of you adore them. You adore these celebrities, these stars, so called. But Oh, and they get, and, and, you, and you adore them, you adore the sight of watching them receive their awards. And, and some of you even get all teary and you get all emotional. Oh, my favorite actor, <laughs> my favorite actress, <laughs> getting an award. <laughs> You're crying. You're getting all emotional. Do they care about you? Like, some of you get all teary and stuff when you see your, your favorite actors and actresses going up on stage and getting those awards and you're all like, I've always watched you, I love you so much, you inspire me. And, 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 and some of you get to the point where you're crying and you know, you know when you're crying and you got those nose boogies coming down from your, you know, and remember, remember those days when we were children, like, you know, as little kids and stuff? Here you are, when you, when you get all teary and you're crying, no, nose boogies come out, and you're like, <laughs> Sorry, man, I don't know why I, why I got to that note. Anyways, um, here's what I'm trying to say. Let's stay focused. Originally, that word actor, the word actor in English, guess what it means, guess what it is in Greek. I think, I believe... In Greek, that word actor is hypocrite. Now, take that same word hypocrite, bring it in English, what do we get? Hypocrisy, hypocrite. In other words, you've got a false, uh, pretty much a professional liar. That's what it is. A hypocrite is simply a professional liar. So, you've got expert liars who go on, on screen and they take part in acting and they pretty much are expert, expert liars and you are being entertained by these. Who's to say that these very expert liars won't even take responsibility in political events that would possibly lead people to even believe them and actually think that they have the right intentions? There's something wrong. You got to think about this. Now you've got Hollywood celebrities, actors, hypocrites, liars. Here they are jumping on the, political, on the political stage, the political playgrounds, and they are trying to rally people up. Hey, come on, come on, come on, rally up, let's go. We are in war. We need to fight for this. We need to fight for that. We stand together. We are the, uh. These are the exact same people who on screen, they do the exact same thing. Think about what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with agents of devils within Hollywood and they are bringing to you all of the... Before I get too carried away, why am I, why am I gonna talk about the Oscars? And before you tell me to chill out, bro, observe these images that I'm showing you. Can you not see a resemblance between the Oscars awards likened to the Egyptian god Osiris? and Ptah, can you not see it? The god of death 
and of the underworld of the of ancient Egypt is why why is it that in 2017 they have an image a golden image erected that looks exactly and also not just that alone but I've pointed this out to you before but that the Oscars not only rep resemble this but it also resembles huh that's right it also resembles the golden image of King Nebuchadnezzar of ancient Babylon huh interesting interesting indeed can you not see can you not see that these things are all meant to be now if you look at the the just just the logo for two for the Oscars of 2017 observe this observe the logo for yourself can you not see that the 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 golden image is placed right underneath the a which is uh, which is designed in in such a way that it resembles the pyramid interesting is it not also furthermore when we examine this image now i'm showing you what are we seeing we can clearly see a resemblance of a serpent that supports a golden image can you not see that what's that pointing to oh that's right the worship of serpents who is the great sir oh that's right it was the serpent who deceived the woman oh the serpent is representative of who that's right the serpent is the devil satan the one who was called lucifer in the old testament oh that's right so so who who exactly are the oscars dead being really dedicated to oh that's right it's dedicated to the devil huh interesting is it not hmm it's very interesting because then when you also when you also think about serpent worship you you oh, oh that's right in ancient egypt they also worship serpents huh interesting so in other words it's as if these people these hypocrites these professional liars these actors and actresses they are simply Oh, that's right. That's the character of this of the devil that is being implanted and what we are seeing is simply a reflection of an image of Satan himself. So, why are you going to watch the Oscars? Do you want to be like these people? You know, the only way that you will ever receive an Oscars award is if you are a part of the clan, is if you actually sell your soul and become a part of these people and their dark secret or their dark uh, society that is what you're going to have to do if you want to win an award such as the oscars it is a time of their celebration only those who sell their souls to lucifer satan the devil only they can be able to receive such an award be very careful what you choose to entertain. This is not all. I'm doing follow-up videos about the Oscars. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to stay tuned on this channel. I'm going to be updating you, and I'll let you know if I catch anything. If I don't, then I don't. But I'll still be uploading videos about the Oscars, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for tuning in and for joining me. This is The Controversy 7. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. If you don't want to subscribe, then just subscribe, you know. Um, if you don't like this video, still give it a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, hey, I'm not going to hold you off. Uh, I'm, this video, I'm trying to keep it nice and short and sweet and on point. So, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe. And I'll, feel free to join me on Facebook. My links are in the video description box. And you can feel free to go to my website, www.thecontroversy7.ca. Other than that, I'm not going to hold you off. You take care of yourselves. You be safe. And I'll see you guys next time.